this video, we'll see how to do a hierarchical copy. First, go to Tools, click on Library Manager, In library manager, you will see three libraries. Library one with OPAMP with a schematic and symbol view. Library two with a load in schematic and symbol view. And library three with name with schematic of OPAMP underscore load. Click on schematic view. After double click, you will see a schematic view of OPAM underscore loop. So I will make it full screen by pressing a shortcut F. I'll drag this column to see properties of the components used in this schematic. If I press on voltage source, I'll see it is a one volt source with name of a library analog lib, name of the source that is VDC, and view of the source that is symbol. Similarly, this voltage source will also have same analog lib, VDC, and symbol. While grounds are taken from analog lib, OPAMP is from library one and load is from library two. If we want to share this entire setup with someone else, we need to ensure that the setup and this OPAMP and loads, all of them are in same library. To do that, we'll do a hierarchical copy using following steps. Go to library manager. Select main cell. Uh, we can also call it as a top cell, which includes other elements or other components. Go to edit. Copy wizard. Then go to hierarchical. In hierarchical, top library name is library three, top cell name is OPAMP load, used to copy not only schematic but also symbol. Now it shows do we need to skip all other libraries? In my case, I know that analog lib, basic lib. BMS lib and all other standard libraries are already available with others. So I am happy to skip all other libraries that are highlighted here. And I need to copy symbol and schematic views of OPAMP and load from library one and library two. So I am deleting them. After deletion, we wanted to be very sure that is there anything else that I am missing in the list? So we can generate a copy list. Before generating this copy list, we will name a destination library as some new name. Here I am writing as new underscore library. Now press on generate copy list. Now it asks, would you like to see the files that are not in the list? Yes. If we see capacitor, ground, voltage sources from analog lib, IO pins from basic lib are not being copied. Hence, press OK. After pressing OK, we'll see each component each cell has data.dm file but 
since all of them are going into the single library, we need not to have multiple data.tm files. To check if there is issue with having multiple files with the same name, we can click on check files. After clicking on check files, it shows an error of conflict because all of them will be going to a single library. In our case, the name of that library is new underscore library. It needs some action. So one obvious thing is to delete two of them. Or if we are not sure of how to fix the error, there is option to select fix errors. It says don't copy. So it will auto generate single data.dm file for new library and we need not to copy data.dm separately. And then press OK. After doing that, you can see that data.dm from all three libraries deactivated. Hence, we are ready to go. Press OK. After pressing OK, it shows that your operation specified a new destination library. This di dialog requires you to specify the location where the new library's directory will be created. When OK, we will not create a new library if this dialog is cancelled. So, in this case, we are creating a new library. That's why we need to press OK. Now, the new library is created with a name new underscore library which contains our top cell, which is opamp underscore load. Now, if we double click on schematic, it will open a schematic. I'm making it full by using shortcut F. And if, <clears throat> now, if we select opamp, or a load and look at its property in property editor, we will see that both of them are referencing to new underscore library. If I select OPAM, it is referring to new underscore library and load is also referencing to new underscore library. Using this method, we learned about how to do hierarchical copy to ensure that the top cell and the sub cells, all of them are situated in the same library. Thank you. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe to support ICDesign.in.